what's up everybody my name is Mike Brown aka Review King MB and I mentioned before that I was doing this hundred movies to watch for the first time and review and I just got this 30 day free trial of Amazon Prime so I'm scrolling through Amazon Prime and seeing what they have seeing if there's anything worthwhile and I see that they have Galaxy Quest I've never seen Galaxy Quest I've heard of it I'm very aware of it. I would hear people talk about it. And so I thought to myself, let's add this to the list. Galaxy Quest is a 1999 film that was directed by Dean Persaunt. This is pretty much a Star Trek parody. At least I went into this movie expecting it to be like a spoof film, to be over the top. And, and, and it's a comedy for sure, but it's not as spoofy as I thought it would be. You have these characters who, it's pretty much Star Trek as far as the show that they were on, the show that they were popular for, and you get them going to conventions and seeing these fans, signing the autographs, they don't really, they're kind of at the point where they're over it right now, it's like, oh, how long have we been doing this, these fans are weird and annoying, and then you get Tim Allen, who's basically like Captain Kirk, right, he he gets found by these aliens who look human, they look like fans. These aliens take him onto their ship, reveal that there are aliens, <laughs> and that there is a rival alien clan who's trying to kill them, and they're going to kill Earth, and they're going to cause all this stuff. So Tim Allen has to convince his fellow cast members that this is legit, this is real, and then they have to basically do what they did on this TV show for years and years, and actually, in real life, save the world. Now, what I think of Galaxy Quest is, this movie is bonkers, this movie is crazy, but I really, really enjoyed it. I did. I had fun with it. I enjoyed Tim Allen playing this this Kirk-like character, William Shatner, right? I mean, like, look, I know that, that uh, you know, you could say it's on the nose or not, but from what I have seen with William Shatner in interviews and whatnot, in real life, he probably is kind of a dick, right? You know, I don't know how much he appreciates Star Trek fans. I don't know how much he appreciates the fact that people look up to him or love him for the role that he played for all those years. Maybe he lightened up more recently, but still, Tim Allen, I think, nailed it. This was a great performance by him. It's just this guy who's drinking and just doesn't care. He has his nice house. He has money, but it's just like, oh, whatever. I've been there, done that. Sigourney Weaver, I loved in this film. Not only was she amusing, uh, but this is probably the most attractive I've been to Sigourney Weaver ever in this movie. I don't know if it's the blonde hair. I don't know if it's the outfit. I don't know if it's them purposely showing her cleavage. I don't know. Call me a pig. Hey, they know what they're doing. This level of attraction is might rival her being a demon in Ghostbusters. I mean, they're pretty close, now that I think about that, too. That was something else as well. Alan Rickman. This was great to see Alan Rickman in a film that I'd never seen, uh, so it was a new performance by him. I like that he was the Spock-like character, so he had the prosthetics. He was so over dealing with any of this Star Trek stuff, or, sorry, the show that they're doing. He, he just he was so over it, even when they're at that... that uh, that grand opening, he has to cut the, like, his delivery, his dry, humorless, like, I don't want to be here. To, like, he's so good at that. He is. Uh, Sam Rockwell, who, he just, is there a movie that Sam Rockwell isn't in? This guy's been around forever. He's been good in everything that I've ever seen him in. Just, we're going to take that guy for granted. You know, he's so good, and, and he's very good in this movie. Uh, Tony Shalhoub, who... You know, he he, very funny. He, he, like he has so many moments that that had me laughing, and especially dealing with just, I don't know, I I don't know whose choice it was for him to act like this is just, this is what it is. <laughs> uh, and and Daryl Mitchell, who I guess is the black guy of the crew. <laughs> That's really what it is. Uh, I was a little sad though to look him up and see that he's now in a wheelchair. He had a terrible accident, and but I mean, hey, at least he's still around. Uh, Rain Wilson, yes, Dwight was randomly. He was one of the aliens that they recruited, or he was trying to recruit to Mountain for Missy Pyle, who I've seen a couple comedies, especially recently. 
not come out recently, but I've just been watching these comedies with her in them, like Dodgeball, and she was in the Willy Wonka remake. She just, she's been in a lot more movies than I even realized, and so there you go. Justin Long, who, again, somebody that I feel like is in a bunch of movies. I don't know if I ever told the story of how I met Justin Long. Maybe I'll save that for another another review. And and I am also impressed with the practical effects. These aliens look great. Not just the aliens, the, the gooey, blobby-looking aliens that are the good ones. No, I'm talking about the the, the evil ones. The you know, What are they supposed to be? Klingons or... Romulans, I don't know, but they're supposed to be the bad ones, and they're wearing prosthetic makeup. They're green and they're slimy looking, but they're they're intimidating. There is nothing. I mean, if if this movie doesn't prove anything, it's the fact that practical effects are a thousand times better than CGI. At least when you know shitty CGI, which is what most movies and TV shows seem to have uh, for the most part. But I I was blown away by how good the effects look, and that's what I mean by. Yes, this was kind of a parody. Yes, this was riffing on uh, the actors that do Star Trek and kind of putting them in this situation. But I appreciated how much care was put into this. I appreciated how much I cared about the plot and the danger that they were all in. And I appreciated what they ultimately did for the fandom of this. And, and I hope that, you know, if anybody involved with Star Trek, that they did see this movie. And they do appreciate clearly the love that was made into it. Yeah, you know, this is somebody who I didn't grow up on this movie. I, I didn't see it until just right now, and and I can see that. I can notice that. I can tell that this movie was ahead of its time. I see that it wasn't a big hit. It was kind of a bomb when it came out in theaters, and that's sad. It's surprising, uh, but it definitely deserved to be seen more, talked about more. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen Galaxy Quest. Did you like it? Do you love it? Did you grow up on it? Um, or, or did you not see it? Hopefully this review will get you to watch it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!